that in some of the initial drafts of this, trying to build in all of those key elements, including the Wisconsin ID, we literally had an initial resolution that was pages long. So like anything else, we had to get down to the, you know, the editing of it. But you're absolutely right. I mean, it, it's more than an economic engine. I mean, we're, everybody's talking about uh, universities and cities are key parts of the economic engine that drive Wisconsin. And, and certainly, I think any economist would agree with that. Uh, and the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, uh, absolutely is a critical part of this region's economy. Uh, you take a look at the resolution, you can see the important role of the faculty, the folks who work at the university, their involvement in this community. And actually, as we have talked about many times before, if the state of Wisconsin truly is interested in, in competing globally, they, they have to maintain, they have to develop quality communities that are going to attract talent. We've heard a lot of that through our comprehensive planning, the brain drain. If we're going to attract and retain that talent and create jobs, uh, putting money into the university system is absolutely a key part of this. Education, uh, research, R&D as they call it now, major drivers of business development. Uh, but the projected state budget cuts are clearly going to threaten jobs statewide. It's not just here in Stevens Point. Any community that has a university or a region that benefits from a university is going to be seriously impacted by that. Uh, and there's no doubt in my mind that these budget cuts are going to have a dramatic and a protracted impact uh, on the university. Uh, a long-term e economic vitality of our entire area, which is one of the reasons I placed it in front of you here this evening. The, the other thing that I especially bristle at a little bit are, are these repeated comments about faculty not being engaged enough or working hard enough. Now, for those of you who were with me for the first 12, and there were a few of you, uh, you may remember that we frequently benefited from university professors, college deans, we even had the vice chancellor and provost serving on city commissions, city committees, boards, giving of their time. And above all that, of course, they still have to grade papers and prepare lesson plans. And I assume they still do all that, Kathy. Uh, yeah, and, and, and do all of that, but they were very actively engaged in our communities. And Mike, I certainly would agree with the Wisconsin ID, uh, idea. Uh, members of the City Council, you have the resolution in front of you. I, I probably don't need to go through that piece by piece. It's self-explanatory. Uh, it is only a tiny reflection of the true value of the university. I mean, keep in mind, it's been in our community since 1894. It's unbelievable. We have a motion to approve the resolution that has been seconded. Is there further discussion or comment? If not, you are voting to approve and adopt the resolution as it's presented to you. The clerk will please call the roll. Moore. Aye. Phillips. Aye. R. Stroik. Aye. Patton. Aye. Chabateski. Aye. Slowinski. Aye. M. Stroik. Aye. Wiesa. Aye. O'Meara. Aye. Walther. Aye. Dockstater. Aye. Clevenser. Motion carries on the unanimous vote of the City Council. Thank you.